Hello, and welcome to drillingcontractor.org. I'm Kelly Ainsworth, here at the 2016 IADC SPE Drilling Conference in Fort Worth. Earlier today, one of the presentations focused on Total's use of NOVs and Teleserve wire drill pipe in the Martin Lingaprod field in the Norwegian North Sea. Here with me are Raina Tielkin from NOV and Saskia Skills from Total. What led Total to the NOV and Teleserve drill pipe? When we drilled the first couple of wells to delineate the field, um, we saw big challenges uh, in drilling these sections. The first well actually took us 300 days and we all deemed that that was too long for a field development. So we started looking into alternative technologies that could help us overcome these challenges. And uh, that's how we, how we came across Wired Pipe and decided to implement it on the Martin Linga project to overcome these, these difficult drilling problems. And what were the results of this project using the Intelliserve? When we started looking at the wire drill pipe, we started looking at uh, the quantifiable benefits of the technology for us. Because obviously we had to justify the, making the investment in the technology. The main reason to implement the technology was to reduce the telemetry times that we spend using conventional mud poles telemetry versus wire drill pipe. We made an assessment of how much time we could save and offset that against the cost we estimated we would have to invest, both in uh, hardware acquisition and in, in, in running project running costs. And it turned out that our analyses were correct and that we save about a day per well now uh, when we use this new technology versus conventional mud pools. So we're extremely happy that our initial assumptions were proven to be right. And Reina, what is the future for IntelliServe? I think the future for IntelliServe looks very bright. Uh, these days, there is a, a very high demand of real-time data from downhole to servers. Customers uh, of operators want to know exactly uh, where they are drilling. And yeah, it's, it's just not acceptable anymore to have a data trans transmission of 20 bits per second to service, while you can have uh, 56,000 bits per second. So I think these days that's just uh, that's a no-brainer. That's definitely the future. It allows not only for optimizing the, the drilling optimization even further, it also allows for geologists uh, to see actually in real time uh, where they are drilling exactly in the reservoir if they're in the best zone possible, and it allows for an optimum uh, well, well bore placement. The future looks bright. And thank you both for joining us today to give us the information about this project and the products. And thank you for joining us on drillingcontractor.org.